Hey, this is Ron Jacobs, uh, host of ArtCast, and I'm here with Arfa Karim, and Arfa is from Pakistan. And uh, what makes Arfa rather unique is that, well, Arfa, you are a .NET developer. It's a C sharp developer. Now, how old are you? Eleven. Eleven. Now, now what's something's wrong with this here because you know, eleven-year-olds typically are not developers. How did you get involved in this? Actually, uh, when I was about six years old, yeah. I saw my first computer in my school. Uh -huh. So whenever you see something new, you get like, what is it? How does it work? So yeah. that was when my trust began. Wow. And, uh, so I asked my dad to get me a PC, uh -huh. and uh, he bought me one. And so I used to mess around with it, and I got to know quite a lot of things about it uh, from the hidden trial method. Yeah. And probably uh, about two years uh, after that, I got to know I got to know how to operate Windows and how to operate the software completely. Yeah. Uh, after that, you know, I used to make small presentations of my father, my mother, and something. My father and my mother used to watch me, and they used to say that she's got some talent in computers. So then they took me to an institute nearby our house, and uh, there uh, I started learning uh, C sharp. Wow. And then I appeared for uh, the first exam of MCSD.net. Developing Windows-based applications in C -sharp. So, so you already became a certified developer. MCP, certified professional. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even done that. Okay. So, and uh, and I'm also here with Simon Brown. And Simon, you are the uh, vice president of the EMEA uh, DPE, which is uh, a way of saying well, EMEA is Europe, Middle, Middle East, and Africa. Africa. And DPE is Developer and Platform Evangelism right. for Microsoft. So, how did you hear about ARPA? Well, I first met, uh, I first heard about ARPA when uh, I visited uh, Pakistan last year. Yeah. And uh, they said, "Oh, you must meet ARPA Karim. She's already met Bill Gates." And, uh, so I said, "Oh, I must do." And so that's when I first met ARPA. I think you were ten. You were ten yes. at the time, I think. Yes. And. Uh, I think uh, even when I flew from Karachi to Lahore on an internal flight, yeah. the in-flight magazine had an article yes, about yes. how you just met President Musharraf. So I thought, <laughs> hey. I thought, wow, you know, this is uh, this is. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting. Uh, uh, what was even better is that uh, Arthur's cousin is a very famous uh, Pakistan cricketer. Oh, for okay. anyone who understands. Uh, cricket so he'd been something of a hero of mine you know, yes. uh, for a few years so it was just it was a it was a very very memorable yes. meeting for me in, in Lahore and, and so you got to meet Bill Gates also yes I met him last year in Seattle what? Ten minutes. <laughs> now I've worked at Microsoft seven years, and I still haven't met him. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now, uh, how did uh, so what what did what happened when you met him? Um, I found him really very nice. Yeah. Um, he was really very soft spoken. I asked him uh, questions like, uh, "Why aren't there many women in your company? And, <laughs> and, and why can't kids join your company?" Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we should have a we should have like a whole department of kids. I think yes. I think that would be very useful. Uh, because you know, when uh, adults have to make games for kids, they need to become a kid before making games for them. So kids are already kids, so they can give ideas. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now, uh, do you write some games? Um, I haven't made any game yet because it needs a lot of attention, and yeah. I have school as well. Oh, okay. So okay. I make smaller programs, other programs, because games you have to focus on graphics as well in games. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I think you have an interesting point about uh, more girls in the business yes. and more women. Uh, and uh, so, do you have a lot of? Um, uh, any of your friends who are getting involved in uh, programming now? Um, not really, uh, yeah. because um, they're more into other things like playing games and computers. Yeah, yeah. Um, little chat, you know. Yeah, that, chatting yeah. and all that, <laughs> surfing the web. And, but uh, there are you know, many people in uh, Pakistan who are interested in technology and interested in uh, software development and other things. We've got many software houses yeah. in Pakistan, and uh, so 
what many people are doing. Well, okay, so now that you're a certified professional, you've met Bill Gates, you've met President Musharraf, what's next? Are you going to <laughs> Disneyland? Is that it? <laughs> yes, it was, uh, you know, when I got an interview published in Micronews. Yeah. Uh, they asked me a question that uh, if you would like to visit uh, USA, yeah. what would be the things that you would like to do the most? Yeah. So I said, number one, I, should, I would love to go to Disneyland, and number two, I would like to meet Bill Gates. So I met Bill Gates, but I didn't go to Disneyland. <laughs> oh, oh, now that's a shame. <laughs> you know, the, actually, the... Um, at the park, at the Disneyland park, the machines that process the tickets use .NET code. So we know those Disney guys, and we might be able to arrange that. Okay, so <laughs> you should you should stay in touch with us. All right. Well, this is Ron Jacobs reporting from TechEd Barcelona, and uh, we'll see you next time.